With the reveal of the recasting of General Thaddeus Ross in the MCU, fans within the hashtag recast Uchala movement is beginning to get a little bit vocal. And if you ask me, they're justified in doing so. I see no legitimate reason why Marvel Studios is so adamant on withholding this character from us. Now look, before I get started, I would like to point out a very important fact. The first person I heard mention this was E-Man Movie Reviews, the granddaddy of the hashtag Recast T'Challa movement itself. That dude be on it, man. I swear to you. Now, today's news comes from MovieWeb.com. It is titled, Marvel Fans Demand New Black Panther Following William Hurt's Recasting. If you don't know, William Hurt, he passed away, I believe, in 2022, and immediately, Marvel Studios recast him. They didn't hesitate. They didn't wait any time. They recast him with that of Harrison Ford. I just want to point that out. MCU fans are now calling for the studio to recast the role of T'Challa. Following the tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman in 2020, Marvel Studios announced that they would not be recasting his role ahead of 2022's Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Instead, the sequel incorporated the actor's death, opening with a funeral scene for T'Challa, which honored the late actor. However, the newest trailer for Captain America Brave New World has some fans calling for Marvel Studios to finally recast the role after seeing the first look at Harrison Ford in the film as Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. Longtime fans of the MCU will know that Thunderbolt Ross was first played by William Hurt in The Incredible Hulk. Hurt reprised the role several times in the MCU, including Captain America Civil War, Black Widow, and Avengers Endgame. After Hurt's passing in 2022, it was announced that Ford would take over the role in the upcoming Captain America Brave New World, in which Ross plays a major part as Red Hawk. The decision frustrated some fans who questioned why William Hurt could be replaced in the MCU, but Chadwick Boseman wasn't recast. And on Twitter here, people are voicing their opinion. This comes from Wednesday Pool. It says the MCU has perfected the recast transition. And someone replied, Remove Black Panther 2 from the entire timeline. Make a new one with a recast. All right. Someone else said Black Panther needed this after Chadwick's tragic passing. Someone else said should have done this with Black Panther 2. Just saying. Because that person showed a picture of Harrison Ford at, as Thunderbolt Ross. Okay. And then the same guy, he responded with, except for that one time, never mind. So people are starting to get a little bit vocal. As you know, these articles are only showing you minimum amount of tweets, but we know what they are, right? If you go on X, you go on Facebook, you go on Instagram, hell, even on this, YouTube, right? We're being very vocal. We have been asking for Marvel Studios to recast that of Chuchala for quite some time. Now, let me get into why Marvel Studios recast Thunderbolt Ross, but didn't recast Chuchala. It's because they really and truly want to establish this Red Hawk. I just feel like they want to make this Red Hawk a thing. And maybe they have a future for Red Hawk. I do not know. But there is a way to fix this all together. Is right in their faces. The multiverse. That's right. The multiverse. They can use the multiverse to do the same thing that they're already doing. Course correcting their universe. Hear me out here. Hear me out. In Wakanda, in the current timeline, they have lost their Chuchala. Right? They can go to an alternate Earth with a, with a very upside down scenario where a Chuchala has lost his Wakanda. I say Wakanda. Wakanda. That's how I feel. They can take that T'Challa, 
I don't care what earth it is, and place him in the main timeline. Easy. So easy, Marvel. All of this, we're not going to recast them. It's ridiculous, if you ask me. We want Chuchala. No, we do not have a problem with other actors or actress playing that of the Black Panther mantle. Hell, it has been passed around in comics plenty of times. Plenty of times, right? However, we didn't get enough of the person that we love. We didn't get enough of the person who we are attached to. Think about that for a second. We got Black Panther in Civil War. We got Black Panther in Endgame and Infinity War just a little. And then they was in Black Panther. Believe it or not, we may only have had about a good three hours or so with Black Panther. If you think about runtime, think about that for a second. About three hours or so. That's it. We haven't spent enough time with the character. We're not ready to move on. See, this is a totally different scenario from that of Captain America, right? We have had Captain America for three films of his own, right? Even though he shared the third film with multiple characters, he still got around to having three films. And not to mention, Captain America was in all four Avengers films. So we got to spend enough time with him. So we're okay with him passing on the mantle. But as for T'Challa, we didn't get to spend enough time with him. I'm sorry. We're not ready to let him go. We're not. So hopefully in the future, Marvel Studios will look at this situation and say, look, maybe we can bring in an alternate Earth T'Challa to replace the one that we lost. It's so simple. If they're going to use the multiverse anyway to tell their story, then it's totally fine for you to give us a different T'Challa. Hell, for what I see with Deadpool and Wolverine, you have an alternate version of Blade in there. I don't know if that's a spoiler for you guys or not, but I saw the picture. I saw the picture, and I'm pretty sure you did as well. I'm thinking the Sticky Fingers version, right? But there's an alternate version there. Even Wolverine is an alternate version of the Wolverine from the X-Men universe. So it can be done. Stop acting like it can't. I'm your boy, O. Hopefully you have watched this video all the way to the end help you pour out that algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, please be sure to do so. I'm trying to reach that magical number 3,000 subscribers. So I'll be highly appreciative if you help me cross over that threshold by hitting that subscribe button. And if you are going to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube absolutely sucks at notifying subscribers that content creators has uploaded videos to their platform. And don't forget to hit that like button to help me out that algorithm, baby. But in the comments below, let me know what you think about that is Ross being recast, but they won't do the same for T'Challa. Also, do you agree with me when I say all they have to do is bring in an alternate Earth version and everything will be fixed? Let me know in the comments below.